Governor Murphy this week delivered the annual report card on how New Jersey is doing, and he gave himself high marks. During his annual State of the State address, the governor pointed to a few economic highlights in an otherwise terrible 2020, things like the new tax incentive program designed to boost the economy, a millionaire's tax that will provide new revenue for the state, a series of grants and loans for battered businesses, and he touted previous initiatives like minimum wage and expanded paid family and medical leave. I sat down with my colleague John Reitmeyer for some analysis. John, would our economic situation in New Jersey be even worse if it weren't for some of these initiatives the governor highlighted? Yeah, I think part of the conversation really has to go even before the governor, which is the federal government. You know, there's been so much federal money pumped into New Jersey over the last year or so, whether that's small business loans, aid for uh, extended unemployment, you know, stimulus payments. So sometimes, you know, the governor gets more credit positive and negative than, than deserves. But certainly Murphy's tried to you know, take a spend the way out of the recession approach, whether that's you know, uh, increasing the, the budget year over year with borrowed money, implementing a millionaire's tax. And you know, now we see these big uh, tax, in, tax incentives, corporate tax break bill with uh, really large uh, tax breaks teed up for the coming year uh, and beyond. So certainly the governor's approach is, uh, is spend and not cut to get out of the recession. And in some ways, you know, we don't really have a sense of how quickly that incentive package is going to impact the economy. Yeah, certainly New Jersey has a reputation among corporate leaders, the business community for levying high taxes and having a high cost of doing business. So anytime you can offer tax breaks, it competes against that. But the the tension is always, what is the state not able to fund when it's giving out these big tax breaks? Even when unemployment was at a record low uh, just before the coronavirus pandemic, the state still wasn't pulling in enough revenue to fully fund its public education formula or you know, invest in higher education as much as a lot of people would like to see. You know, one thing that is interesting when we talk about revenue is that millionaires tax, we are seeing move through some of the revenue numbers now. Yeah, you know, it was just enacted a few months ago, but it was retroactive to the beginning of 2020. And so people are having to catch up. Uh, I, I think that's more about you know, funding programs going forward and how that money gets used. You know, there's that big borrowing we talked about that has to be offset because that was a one year source of revenue. And so, you know, trying to prevent big cuts, especially in public education, since that income tax money goes to public education in New Jersey. Uh, I think part of that millionaire's tax is something going forward. How does the state maintain spending on things like public education when, when all of that borrowed money goes away because I don't know that we're going to see revenues kind of rebound as quickly uh, coming into the new fiscal year as we might need in order to offset you know, all of that borrowed money. Yeah, I mean, that's really the big wild card. And of course, we'll see what comes out of the new administration that might help along those lines. Another interesting highlight to the speech was what the businesses call mandate, what workers call protections, higher minimum wage, um, extended sick leave. So the governor chose to highlight that it is, businesses argue, a burden for them, but it's in place. So it's kind of uh, in the rear view mirror. Yeah, you know, things like the minimum wage, historically, when you put more money into the pockets of people in the lower income brackets, it gets pumped right back into the economy. And so you would think that that would be a good thing at a time when, you know, we're, we're in a downturn. Uh, the question is, it's really hard to tease out the impact. In the past, when things like the minimum wage or some of these other regulations have gone into effect, you haven't necessarily seen a big loss in, in, the, in employment. Uh, but this time around, it's all happening with all this other stuff going on out in the economy. And so, you know, for some businesses that are struggling, you know, this this year, it could be a really big hit to, to have that payroll cost go up that much or, you know, to fund some of these other mandates. So, I mean, I think this year is a different year and we need to keep an eye on things like that. Absolutely. John Reitmeyer, always a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon. 
Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.